Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to perform how to calculate correlation using Excel. As well as we would like to check significance level of this correlation. But before this, I just want to share one simple problem that day by day we are facing in our management colleges. So on the basis of this problem, I just want to calculate correlation. Example is, there is always a hot debate in business schools during placement week that the final placement in general are arbitrary and a candidate's abilities do not really have any correlation with salary packages offered to him or her. So we want, we want to know the correctness of this assumption. Take a sample of 25 students randomly selected from MBA class. Their marks taken as a measure of academic performance. We have measured them on three other parameters, communication skills, journal awareness, IQ level. So after the placement drive, salary data collected. We had scored these 25 students. These are the salary packages in lakhs per annum. And this column is reflecting marks. And this column is reflecting communications, right? Communication skills and GA scores, general awareness, IQ scores. So I just want to check whether there is any relationship between salary and marks. Rest of these three parameters I will discuss in my next video, not in this video. I just want to show you how to perform salary and marks whether they are correlated or not correlated using excel this sheet i had already cal calculated through spss so i just want to show you my spss results and then we will compare these spss results those results i have i will get through excel so we want to test validity of the assumption that there is no correlation between the given variables. So here is I'm taking only one variable that is only marks and salary, right? So salary and marks, you can see here, this is the Pearson correlation I'm going to, I had applied. Salary here is 0 0.702. This is the correlation between salary and marks. All these 25 students and 0 0.00 that means this result shows that is significant so simply what we have to do i am going to take both these values in my excel so now what we have to do you can see here all these values same values all 25 students let me give you serial number also so you can check the serial number total how, what is our data and i can use another function also count function and through this also you can check so now these are total number of students 25 same salary and marks i have taken that i had used in my case study and now you can see these are the SPSS results. So simply, I just want to cross check whether the Excel is also doing the same thing or we can perform this analysis in Excel also. So first of all, what we have to do, I am going to calculate correlation among both these variables. So first of all, what we will do, you know, data analysis tool pack I'm going to use. So we have to go to five options. And in this option, we have to go to add-ins. And in add-ins, you can see here Excel add-ins right and we have to go and here is you can see analysis tool pack and simply because i have already added this tool pack and i will press ok right after that you can come over here in data you can see here this is my data analysis tool pack and in this data analysis tool pack i am going to use this option correlation i will press ok and after that, I'm just removing all these results before starting this. Otherwise, there would be confusion, right? I'm just deleting these results. I'm just deleting this table. Delete this entire table. Mm, okay. I'm just deleting this entire table. And that would be type columns. Okay, fine. I'm just 
using my performance over here. What I will do, I'm going to be using this data analysis tool pack, simply correlation. I will press OK. And after that, I'm just deleting all those things because I just want to show you as fresh. Uh, you can see here, here is input range. Input range, I'm going to select all these levels also, right? Levels. And this output range also I'm deleting, right? And I will press here and I'm going to select both these columns along with levels. And these are, this is my input range. And levels because I have taken, if suppose I have not taken these levels, so I will not check in these levels in first row, but I have used these levels. So I just click here. And after that, where I want to get this output range. Suppose I want to get this output range here. So this output would be available here. If suppose I don't want to get output here, I want on a new worksheet. So that would be a adjacent worksheet. This output would be reflected, but I want output in here only. So I had pressed here, write output range, and then I would press OK. So correlation having trouble to offset input output reference. Okay, fine. So actually what happened input range and output range, there is a, there is a small problem you can see here input range this is my input range i would select this input range and after that levels yes of course i need and output range i want this output range here so i would press this output range and i will press ok so now you can see this is my output is available over here you can see here this is my output now you can see Correlation between salary and marks that is 0.072. And now you can see 0.702. This is my correlation. And the same correlation, if I would cross check whether we have received through SPSS, yes, of course, exactly same 0 0.7.702. 0 that is same. So I hope this thing is clear to you. And after that, what we are going to perform T statistics, whether it is significant, this correlation or it is not significant, right? So first of all, what we have to do, we will take total number. What is the total number of the sample? So my total number is 25. I had already taken. Then degree of freedom for this purpose, uh, N minus 2. N minus 2, total number 25 minus 2. So simply I can use this formula. Here is this number minus 2. I will press enter. That is 23. Now I would like to check T statistic. This is the formula of T statistics. T, here is R under root N minus 1 divided by under root 1 minus R square. So what I will do for this performance, how we are going to get this, how I'm going to apply this formula, simply you will press equal sign. Then after that, our correlation, right? First of all, I am opening this bracket. Then I will select this R, right? R is my correlation. And after that, I'm going to use square root. Again, I will enter this bracket and I am simply writing square root. I will select this square root, square root n minus 1. n means this is my number. This is my number minus 1. And I will close this bracket and how many times I had opened this bracket? 1, 2, 3. So 3 times that is the mandatory. 3 times you have to close this bracket. Then after that you have to enter. This one is uh, uh, slash sign. After that again I am going to open a new bracket. Again I am going to use the square root. And in square root you can see here. What is the number? Right. So here is I am enter 1 minus. 1 minus value of R. R is this. And after that simply I will press this sign square root and after that I am just enter this then I would press enter the found a typo or the formula is it right no I just check it is okay fine yes there is a problem uh, j3 j4 
write square root j4 n minus 1 square 3 j3. I have taken this va these values as this is the value j not j10. This is the j3. I'm going to use this is the j3. J3. And I would press enter. No, there is, I think, some problem. Yes, now it's working. So this is my, this is my t value 4.82. And after this, I had applied simply this formula 4.82. Now I'm going to calculate p value. So p value, how I'm going to calculate, simply I will press equal sign. And I will use T distribution. T distribution, I will select this. And you can see here X, degree of freedom and tails. So X value is, this is my T value, right? And uh, what is my degree of freedom? I had already calculated. This is my degree of freedom. And then after that, I'm going to, this the that time it will ask one tail distribution or two tail distribution. I'm going to use two tail distribution, right? So simply I will press two and then I will press enter. So now you can see it's a significant, it's very much less than 0 .0, 0 0.05. So same results, that means this code correlation is significant we can say yes there is correlation positive correlation between salary and marks and the same interpretation if i am not wrong i have written here about this right interpretation simply bivariate correlation from the output correlation coefficient between salary and marks is 0 0.0.702 and the p-value for two-tail test of significance is less than 0 0.005. They, then we conclude that there is strong positive correlation between salary and marks and that correlation is significant at the significance level of 0 0.01. So I'm sure this video would be helpful to you how to get the correlation value using the Excel and how we can test this whether is statistically significant or not. So keep watching, stay tuned. Thank you.